Hey guys, welcome to the new video. So today we are finally announcing the first tournament of our community, which will be the Armies of Exigo 1v1 tournament season 2. And in this video I'm gonna tell you all the information that you need to register to this tournament, all the rules and other things that you might need to know uh, to play with us or just watch the tournament on Twitch of course. Uh, so first, if you want to uh, know all the information about this tournament and also register, you will need to go to our Discord server. So you will just go to my YouTube channel where you are just watching this video. Uh, and either in the description of this video or, or any other video, you will click on the Discord link or you can just go to the information about my channel right here. And here is also the Discord link that will just invite you to the community. Uh, once you are in the community, it's gonna look like this. Uh, and as you can see there is many channels, the one that you want to go to is the announcements channel. So here you will find the announcement message where we announced the tournament. As you can see it was like uh, 20 minutes ago. And here is just the poster. Uh, you can read the basic information here but uh, it's just to catch the attention of course. But to actually register for the tournament you need to uh, scroll down as it's actually stated right here. And uh, you will just react to this message. Uh, to this post with this green mark and uh, after you react to this you will receive the tournament participant role which will give, give you also the green name here on the right and also it will unlock two new channels for you. So first one is the tournaments channel which is used for communication and then you have the registration channel which is the important one and here you will find all the information and you will also confirm your participation in the tournament here. Uh, so if you go to the top of this uh, to this channel, you will see that there are rules. So we'll definitely walk through these uh, in this video. Then there is the map pool where we have all the eight maps that will be used during this tournament. And also every player is able to ban one of these maps. So uh, when you are making the registration where you need to state which map you want to ban, you definitely need to use this map pool. And then you have just the basic information, you can read through that yourself, of course, uh, what is not allowed in this channel and things like that. And then there is the registration, which is in this format, as you can see, uh, already a few people registered here. Uh, so you can see, you just write your nickname, which is your Discord name. Uh, then what map you want to ban from eight maps that you saw above in the map pool. Uh, then you write your nationality and then allegiance, which is just how many tournaments have you already participated in, uh, so you can have uh, one, two or zero, depending on how many tournaments you already played uh, on our community of course. So this is basically everything, now we'll go through the rules, uh, maybe one more thing and that is the uh, Twitch of course, you can also find the link here or on the Discord, uh, just anywhere, and uh, here is of course the Twitch. Uh, under my name, we are streaming here every week, of course, making community streams and also the tournament will be streamed on uh, this Twitch channel. Uh, so now let's get to the rules. As you can see, it's quite long as always, so let's just walk through it. Uh, it's still pretty similar every, every single time, but uh, there are always some small changes, so I will walk you through them. Uh, mainly the format will be changing, so I will explain that really quickly. Uh, so the day of the tournament, which you also could have seen in the announcement and also on the poster, will be Saturday, uh, the 10th of uh, the next month, 2024 of course, from 13.30 uh, Central European Summer Time. Uh, this is still the same starting time uh, as always. Uh, we could make it a little bit earlier, but uh, many players usually are not available uh, much sooner, so we are still keeping the same time. It will be on Saturday as always. And we will see how many participants we have, because actually if we continue reading here, uh, the tournament will be of course either played uh, all matches, I mean, either end with all matches being played during one day, or the tournaments can actually uh, be rescheduled for another day. And if we will have too many, participa too many participants, a yeah, big participation, uh, then the second day of the tournament will be the tournament in, in advance. So maybe even before the day of the tournament, we'll already know uh, that we will not fit it all in one day, then we'll already determine a second day. Maybe it will be the Sunday right after that, uh, or maybe I will probably won't be available the Saturday after that, I mean the next week, so we would need to make it like two weeks later or something, but we'll definitely figure something out. We'll also see how many participants we will have. Uh, then there is the format, so this tournament uh, will of course, of course consist of 1v1 matches, uh, and it will be in the following format. So players will be divided into two groups and they will play in a Swiss format, which is a format we didn't play yet in any of the tournaments. So we are experimenting with different uh, options. 
Uh, you can of course find some information on internet how this system works but basically uh, it's pretty simple you are divided into groups of course and in that one group uh, players will be divided into pairs so of course we need to have even number and uh, I mean they will play in pairs and then you will either get a point for winning or you will lose a point or not lose but you will have a loss uh, if you lost the match and in the next round you will play uh, with the players that had the same result in the first round so if you won the first round you will play with someone who also won the first round and if you lost the first round you will play with someone who also lost the first round uh, this way you will play against players that are probably similar strength to you and you will also not be eliminated immediately after the first loss so everyone will be able to play all the rounds and also you will play against players of your skill level so it should be hopefully uh, more balanced and uh, enjoyable to watch uh, of course later you will have for example two wins and one loss then you will also play against someone who has two wins and one loss yeah? so it's always uh, the player uh, the enemy that will be you will be playing with the opponent uh, is the one that will be the closest to your stats of course you cannot play against someone uh, more than one time so that's just the one rule there outside of that it will be working like that and uh, then of course two players from each group with the most wins so the best score will continue to the semi-finals and everyone will be of course lim eliminated after that now we'll see how many players we'll have uh, depending on that we'll either play three or probably four rounds in the swiss format of course for each group so it will be actually many games uh, then the four players of course that we have from the uh, i mean two from each group so four players that will be in the semi-finals there will be once again paired uh, pair into pairs and they will play a best of three format just one once again against each other and then of course a winner of each of those uh, one ones best of threes uh, will go to the finals and they will also play a best of three format yeah last time in 2v2 tournament we are actually experimenting with best of five but uh, pairs didn't even know that we are playing best of five also it was really long uh, everyone's already tired so we decided to reduce this to best of three once again even in the finals and in semi-finals you also have best of three uh, so the registration uh, really simple participants must register through the discord as i showed you in the beginning mm, you just go to the channel that i showed you and the registration deadline is two days before the tournament so always remember that uh, of course uh, at midnight so you still have some time even during that day uh, the tournament is open to all players of course that have armies of exigo uh, you, must, you must adhere to all the rules and regulations outlined in this document and any violation of course can result in disqualification uh, organizers will pair the players for each match and uh, everything will be communicated through the discord server so even during the tournament you need to be online on the discord server and uh, and listen to all the uh, all the information that will be given to you uh, participants are required to join the designated game lobby at a scheduled time using Radmin VPN so that's the uh, the program or uh, third third part uh, side let's say that we are using to actually play um, play multiplayer in armies of exigo and failure to do so within five minutes will result, will result in a forfeit so you definitely want to make sure that you are on the discord finding all the information quickly uh, that is one thing i will skip a little bit we are of course streaming once again on the twitch as i showed you in the beginning and we will try to uh, not add a delay to the stream this will be the first tournament without the delay we are experimenting with that uh, if we'll of course find that people are cheating uh, then we'll, we will include the delay next time but uh, of course any form of cheating including uh, watching stream when we are playing uh, is bannable yeah you will be disqualified from the tournament and maybe even some further actions can be taken against you so definitely don't try to cheat guys uh, if you are playing just don't watch the stream you will only get yourself banned and you will also make the uh, the stream have delay for the next tournaments which no one really wants because it's just making everything much harder so we are trying without the delay but let's go back to the match procedures uh, so participants are required to create an in-game profile with their discord name for the tournament matches as always so we know who is actually joining the lobby uh, the games will be played on eight different maps as you saw in the map pool and each player is able to ban one of the maps and you have to decide it before the tournament so you will ban one map and it will stay as your ban for the whole tournament that's why you need to include it in the registration and for each map one of the remaining maps will be just uh, 
randomly chosen. Yeah, so two will be up to two will be banned. Of course, if both players that are just playing banned the same map, then that is the one that is of course eliminated, and we'll be uh, choosing from the remaining seven maps. And we will be playing with uh, reveal terrain, uh, seventy five percent game speed, and also of course game version one point four. Uh, an announcement video that you are just watching uh, is here, of course, on the YouTube channel. Uh, and also all the matches uh, and also the whole, whole tournament stream will be uploaded to the YouTube channel after the tournament is finished. Uh, yeah, any form of cheating, including using unauthorized third party software, which is also of course <laughs> Twitch, uh, or colluding with your opponents is strictly prohibited. Uh, the only add allowed add-on is Armies of Exio Resolution, uh, Full HD mode. Uh, you can also use the small addition that will move your resources to the side, that's also fine. That's, let's say, uh, just a part of this full HD mode. Uh, any player found to be cheating will be disqualified from the tournament. Uh, any further actions may be taken at the discretion of the organizers, as I said. Just don't cheat, guys. Uh, if there are any technical issues that will uh, disconnect the players, the game will crash, whatever. We just cannot uh, finish the match because of technical issues. Then organizers will once again de determine the appropriate course of action. We can either uh, reschedule the match or just uh, announce the winner if it was already towards the end of the game. Uh, all official communication uh, will be of course uh, in English and it will be on the Discord server. And you are also expected to communicate in English uh, in any communication that is associated with the tournament and also interaction with others, of course. Uh, the winner of the tournament will be immortalized in the Hall of Fame on our Discord server and also below the stream on our Twitch. You will also receive Twitch VIP and you will be also able to choose one custom Twitch emote that will be available to subscribers or for Norn coins until the next tournament. Uh, so those are the same rewards as in the previous tournament. Uh, the tournament organizers uh, reserve the right to make any final decisions, so anything uh, that we decide to change, we just have the ultimate right to do that. And of course you are expected to uh, conduct yourself respectfully and uh, just no harassment, discrimination and of course everything as always. Uh, so those are the rules. The main thing uh, that is changing is of course the Swiss format, so we will see how this will go, but I have actually really high hopes for this. I think it will be a really good format. Uh, it will ju be just uh, maybe a little bit lengthy, but uh, I mean that will all. I mean the tournament will always be really long if we want to have uh, so many participants and also uh, everyone uh, let everyone play more than just one game. So uh, we cannot really do anything with that, but we will try this format. I think it will be really good. Yeah. So now we can also take a look on the uh, on the map pool. We have eight maps, uh, of course, all the original maps. Uh, just a quick information, we will definitely finish all the tournaments that were announced in the roadmap for 2024. So this year, uh, all the tournaments will finish on original maps from developers of uh, of Armies of Exigo from Black Hole. Uh, also, we'll play on the 1.4 patch, of course. And next year, we'll probably start experimenting at least with some custom maps that were heavily tested. Uh, they just went through many adjustments and are reliable. Then we can maybe start adding some custom maps even to the tournaments. But for now we are still staying just with the original maps. So just so you know uh, what to expect. Uh, yeah, so there are eight maps. As you can see, four of them are just two players map. Then, is, then there is uh, one three player map, the only three player map uh, that is in the game originally. And then we have uh, three four player maps. Uh, so of course these smaller one we, or two player maps support uh, quicker uh, strategies and yeah, rushes. The map is much, much smaller. Uh, sometimes you don't even have expansions or not so many of them. Uh, the smallest is probably Blue Lake Heights, uh, where you have only one expansion in the underground. And then you have these uh, gems mines, but outside of that nothing much. Uh, also, this map is not perfectly balanced because of this middle part, of course, where you can kind of attack from here, but uh, it's just one of the maps there. I try to choose maps that are not played that often. Uh, maybe something that uh, that could be quite interesting to watch because no one really practiced these maps because no one really played them. Of course, now you have two weeks to practice, but uh, outside of that, probably not too many players know about uh, too many 
uh, too many tricks for these maps, so that will be also interesting to see what can people figure out. Uh, then we have confrontations, that's probably the second smallest map. Uh, you already have some expansions here, but uh, still pretty small, pretty easy to attack quickly. Uh, so we will see how this will go. Uh, there are also, I think, warehouses here for some extra resources, so you can also take this. Uh, then we have hollowed grounds. This is already a bigger map. As you can see, there is many expansions. There is also underground in, I, in like a square shape, I think, with some neutral enemies, eh? maybe even some treasures. So this will be really interesting. It's definitely one of the bigger maps, especially since it's also uh, since it is also just for two players. Uh, so we'll see how this will go. Uh, then we have hidden hills. Mm, it's actually quite long to get to your enemy on the surface. Also, we have some expansions here, but there is also the underground, which I think is not that long. So we will see how this will go. Then we have the triple threat, uh, which is uh, quite small actually. I mean, you can get pretty quickly to your enemy, but there is this factor that you don't know where your enemy actually spawned. So this will be definitely interesting. We have also expansions that are unreachable from ground. Uh, there are neutral enemies in the middle, uh, actually quite strong. Yeah, we have goblin shamans uh, protecting warehouses for extra resources. Then we have many expansion options on the map. You will definitely need a ton of scouting here. So this will be really interesting as well. Then we also, of course, have dark side forest. Uh, I mean, basically always this will be in the map pool. Uh, I, I know that uh, people probably start banning this map really soon, but uh, it's just the standard. Yeah, everything is always played on this map. So. I just need to include it. Uh, and then I included uh, No Man's Land and Spider Realm, which were already in the map pool for the previous tournament for 2v2 showdown uh, number one. But uh, even though not everyone uh, banned these maps, uh, they were just not picked a single time, I think. Uh, either of these maps was not picked a single time, I think. Uh, so I decided to include them now. Uh, also, they are quite big, so it definitely supports some uh, fast expansions uh, and it kind of balances the other maps that we have here so blue lake heights and confrontations which are really small then we have these maps that are really big uh, of course on spider realm you can spawn on the same side and it's actually quite easy to attack but you can also spawn on the other side of the map and you need to actually connect through the underground or with flying units then definitely it gives you much more options for some longer play so we'll see how this will go definitely many options you can of course choose that one ban and outside of that it will be always a random a random choice uh, so yeah this is basically everything for the tournament uh, the last thing i will just show you or remind you uh, is the admin vpn so you just go to internet you write uh, download admin vpn you install it uh, you will just log in or something and then you just need to join the armies of exigo server so you go to networks uh, join network to gaming networks and here you just write armies of exigo and you will uh, you will just join armies of exigo server right here you don't need any more uh, any more passwords or anything you will just see all the active uh, or online players right here then you just launch your game and you can join immediately uh, and then of course you will know uh, about all the information for the for the matches where you need to join at everything you will know it from the discord server probably from the tournaments uh, or registration channel uh, so yeah this is basically everything guys if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments uh, or you can just ask me on the discord server i hope you will play with us of course and if you don't want to play or cannot play or something you can always at least come to our discord uh, to sorry to our twitch and uh, support of course the players uh, through the stream as i said there will be no delay so even the interaction will be probably much better and uh, of course the tournament streams are the best there is always the most amount of people uh, you can talk to everyone so it will be really nice and i would like to see you at least on the twitch uh, so yeah thanks for watching and take care guys